Hey, hi everyone. It's Jeff with South Point Church. Um, man, I miss all of you. I do. Uh, but I do have an opportunity today to share a touch point with you. This is the touch point for Tuesday, February 16th of 2021. Man, 20. That was something else. Let's make 21 better. Anyway, the readings are Leviticus 26 and 27, Acts 23. And I chose Leviticus 26, it's Old Testament writing, and I find the Old Testament is, is aggressive. It's, it's, it puts the point out the way things should be. And in 26, what the Lord's talking about is the blessings for obedience and then the punishment for disobedience. And he's trying to tell his children how he wants us to act. And he says in verse 9, um, and he's talking about when we follow along with the obedient part, it says, I will look favorably upon you, making you fertile and multiplying your people, and I will fulfill my covenant with you. That's verse 9. And then you switch to the punishment for disobedience half of the chapter, and in verse 17, you find the word on not being obedient and the punishment for disobedience. The Lord says in verse 17, I will turn against you and you will be defeated by your enemies. Those who hate you will rule over you and you will run even when no one is chasing you. It's uh, not a position I... I want to be in that that's for sure but I do find um, I find a number one decree of the Lord and that's love you know whether it's good bad or indifferent our actions let me read verses 44 and 45 from you and then, and it says despite all of this I will not utterly reject or despise them while they are in exile in the land of their enemies. I will not cancel my covenant with them by wiping them out. For I am the Lord, their God. For their sakes, this is 45, for their sakes, I will remember my ancient covenant with their ancestors, whom I brought out of the land of Egypt in sight of all the nations that I might be their God. I am the Lord. And he's, uh, he's asking you where you're at. You know, are you obedient, disobedient? The love's there, it's waiting for you. So my, my observation was is to just uh, sit down. I humbly evaluated myself. I put down the things that are positive and I put down the things that are negative. And I just, you know, honestly looked at the things that I do and I need to continue to do. And then I jotted down some things that I could do better at. Ultimately, we're going to have to take it to the Lord and he'll help us with these things because he knows we need help. So let me pray. Lord, I praise you above all you are love. And... I just ask you, Lord, to, to fortify our souls, to uh, strengthen those things that we do that are beautiful in your eyes, and and replace our frailty, our weaknesses, replace our sin, fill it with your love, your love for me and all others. Let me have that same spirit. Let me love myself and in return, love all others as uh, Jesus is or the number one commandment in the Bible, love. So anyway, y'all loved, uh, go to southpoint.com, southpointchurch.com if you are looking for what's going on and... Uh, I'll either see you online or in person. You're blessed.